Okay, so this is Twister OS on Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, I'm covering it again. I, I've already done a video and saying this is my favorite operating system on the Raspberry Pi 4 or 400. It definitely still is. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I love the updates because there's always great things happening in the updates. Now, I first started using, well, Twister OS is made by Pi Labs, and I first started using Pi Labs uh, operating systems back with Raspbian 95, which was a, a Windows 95 skin, uh, which happened to be my first operating system on a PC. And uh, so I was already hooked. Uh, but then after that came Windows 98, uh, and it was Windows 98 in a virtual machine as well, and I could play the original GTA on it. And so just really, really good to see. Um, but there's been other products by Pi Labs. Uh, so iRaspbian was one of them as well. Hopefully it will show mine. There you go, mine comes up second. Uh, but uh, that was Mac OS and, uh, and things have progressed and progressed and now we're at this amazing stage where we've got an operating system that we can switch between themes uh, so, we can, so we can have Twister OS, Raspbian X, Raspbian 95, Raspbian XP, uh, but also fully integrated into it are loads of games, apps and, and various things like that. So it always worth checking for updates and there is an update checker. So if you just type in update on the bottom here, you get the Twister OS patcher and that will automatically update it to the latest version and install any newer features that come along. So I generally check on the website uh, just to see what's changing. Uh, and if we go into downloads and Raspberry Pi 4, you see it comes up with Twister OS 1.9.5 uh, and it'll have a change log for that because I don't think I covered that. I'm not sure if there was a lot of changes in this one that need to be covered for this video. So made optimization improvements on Theme Twister, moved icon and sound files to universal locations, updated Twister OS graphics. So it's this update, the 1.9.6, that I'm going to cover today. Uh, and I've already done it. So added about Twister OS app, added disk usage analyzer app, added Twister OS web apps launcher app, which is the one that I'm interested in today, uh, updated Twister OS diagnostics, removed Pulse Audio OSS wrap due to incompatibility with new Pulse Audio profile, added support for EXE file icons and double clicking to launch with Wine, updated README move to universal location. So just great work. It just keeps getting better and better and better. So why this is interesting to me. So in the early days of the Pi 4, I've, done, I've been doing videos on the Pi 4 pretty much since it came out. Uh, I'm sure I did one on the first day it came out. Uh, and I, there wasn't a lot of games I could get to work with it because most of the games were Pi 3 compatible and Pi 4 was, was different architecture. Uh, and so I did some videos on running Linux games and games in a web browser uh, and various things like that. Well, that's what's been added to Twister OS, so games that run from a web browser, but they're so well presented and it's so easy to use. So if you go into, uh, where was it, internet and Twister OS web apps, obviously you can search for it on this, so I guess if you typed in OS, yeah, it comes up on that. Uh, so if I click on that, you get this really nice presentation and you can see there's these different sections. So we've got games, multimedia, social media, and utilities. So these are all things that work on the web, so it doesn't have to install a program onto your computer. So if I go to games, uh, I covered uh, Open Lara, well I've done it in several videos because it, it's really impressive how it works. Uh, if I click on that, you can see that it opens Open Lara in a page, leaves this uh, available, but we can also go full screen if we want to as well. Uh, and you can play the whole game of Tomb Raider uh, in a web browser. So I've covered that a lot, so I'm not going to do that in this video. Uh, so some of the things, I've tried a few of these, so things like Candy Bubble. Have I got my sound on? I think I have. So if I cover that up just so it looks a bit neater for the video. So you can hear, oh we've got music, so I'm going to turn off my speaker, but you can hear the sound is working fine. Uh, so if I click on it, it's just casual games that work in the browser, but I like the way if you look for web games, a lot of the time you have to kind of mess about with lots of adverts and things like that. There doesn't seem to be any of that. It seems to be just sort of linking to the game. Uh, and you can see here, it's a sort of puzzle bubble style game. Uh, and it's nice and responsive and works very well. Looks looks nice and pretty. Uh, but if I, so what else have we got? Diablo, 
Among Us. I haven't, I haven't really looked at Among Us, but I'm going to stick to some of the games that I've already tried. Uh, so Bejeweled, I don't think I've tried that, but I know it's very popular. So again, it doesn't seem to be coming up. Oh, and you see we've got a language option here. So we do Classic. And you can hear the music comes up. I'm not going to play that because it's not, it's not my kind of game. I did like Fall Brothers, uh, which... This has got loads of different levels on it. Oh, I meant to plug in a mouse for this. Uh, where is my mouse? So I use this um, mouse, which has got a dongle, so you don't have to have any setup at all. But it also works with two different Bluetooth variants. So you could pair it to two different Bluetooth devices and have it on a dongle as well. But I'm just using it as a normal mouse. And I think it's WASD and I think space for jump, so you're kind of... Uh, Shooter controls. Start again. I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know. Would the audio be copyrighted? Let's put it a bit lower. And this, this actually is. It's. Oh. I'm gonna have to turn off the audio, uh, just in case. But this. So you can use the mouse to look around. So I'm the blue guy. You can see I'm jumping through. And the idea is to get to the top first. Now, it could do with being a little bit less laggy, but I was actually surprised that it, it plays reasonably well in the web browser. Uh, and so you've got the mouse to look around, WASD, and then you've got jump. But uh, several of these levels were really cleverly thought out and, and just the sort of thing you can jump straight into. So these are going super fast. Oh, they've got through all right. I'm not gonna be first, but you've got to get to the crown. There we go. Shame I can't. I don't know. I don't know if I can turn off the music. Is it still going to be music? 90%. So if I do play again, I think it just does a different level, different style of game. Yeah. So uh, here's a. Is it total wipeout style of game? Oh oh, I didn't do well on that. Oh I, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, that was quick. But yeah, so interesting. And uh, I might have a look at that on my uh, on my Mac and see if that uh, that runs incredibly smoothly. I would imagine it does in the browser. Uh, so another one that I tried. So you have got classic Minecraft here, look, Mini Royale Two, which appeared to be a bit like Fortnite, but in a browser. Actually, let's keep it let's keep it small because uh, from a performance point of view, it's going to be better. And I'm probably better off. And I can turn back on the sound now. Hopefully there's not music in this. Now what am I doing here? Select, adrenaline, syringe, backpack. I don't really know what I'm doing. So let's go with one of those. Get ready. Yeah, so we're going down and I think, oh, it looks like it, uh, it automatically does the parachute. So let's try and go somewhere where no one is. I don't think anybody's landed near here. Oh, how do I go back? Oh. Oh, well, you start off with a gun, which is a good start, but let's see if we can get a better gun. Ah, there we go, that's better. Right. Can you see anybody? I can't see anybody. But it, what an environment. It, it, it really is impressive that this is working in a browser and running so smooth. That sound coming from? Oh come on! Oh, was that? Have I, is that all the? Oh no, it's all the ammo I've got. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that worked well, didn't it? Uh, but it's so impressive that that you can literally just click on it in a browser. And obviously, this wouldn't take up a lot of room. So uh, because you're not you're not saving the games on the device. So scribble I/O. Not sure if I know what that is. Play. I do. Say what it is. Poison. Oh. What was it? The word was poison. Oh, okay. But I was just too slow. A is choosing a word. This is cool, isn't it? I used to use. Um, I can't remember what it was now, not words with friends. It was something like that where you could draw and that was good, draw with friends probably. Right, come on then, let's see if we can get this. So, 
No. Chair, maybe. Oh. Bear, mask, paper cut, guess the word. What did paper cut guess? I can't even see paper cut on there. Cow. <laughs> Anyway, looks looks pretty good. Uh, I like that. Uh, so, Quake Three is in there in a browser as well, is it? Okay, we've got to try a bit there. Is this going to be all right in a browser on the Pi? I'll have to have a look and see if I'm overclocked in a minute. I would imagine I'm running at two one four seven. It's what I generally run the Pi at. Uh, I'm not using any active cooling. I'm using my uh, cluster case with my fifty two Pi heatsink on the top. Well, it looks nice if it's going to look like that. Look at that. That looks great, and it and it feels. Oh, I don't know. Ah, my mouse wasn't captured. That's all right now. What was that? Is there anybody else here? Well, I'm surviving quite well. What do you reckon this is? Yeah. Well, it's a shame there's no one around because. Actually, oh, no. Because that, it it runs fine, absolutely fine. That feels really nice and fast. I can move around, jump, fire. Yeah. That's impressive. Right, so let's press escape and that releases the mouse out of the browser. Load runner. I won't go through all of them, but uh, everything I've tried so far seems to have worked pretty well. <laughs> nice start. <laughs> okay, well, you can see that it's working and it looks like it's running at a reasonable speed as well. Uh, so, what's page two? Oh, so I think some more. Some more stuff might have been added here. I quite like a bit of Doodle Jump. I play that on the Apple TV. Oh, and it's kind of the mobile version. They do they do a version like this in the arcade as well. Is it just cursors? Nice. Again, obviously very responsive. You know, very basic game, but uh, nicely implemented. Oh. So. Great work. I'm not going to go through all of them, as I say, but yeah, again, multimedia. So we've got all our YouTube and Pluto and Netflix and Hulu and all sorts of things in there, social media. And I guess if you were to launch some, I haven't got Netflix at the moment, uh, but if you were to launch it, it probably launches it uh, in the Chromium Media Center, which, which uh, allows it to work, which is something which is included in Twister OS. So it has the DRM, so you can be, so you can use that. Yeah, super impressive. Uh, so great, great job, PyLabs. Uh, the whole team works really hard on this, and uh, it remains my favourite OS on Raspberry Pi 4 and 400. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.